Hello everyone, and today we're going to be looking at this. Godzilla vs Kong. Two bitches is strong. Wait, hold on. So, um, oh lord, no, 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 no. So, this is a review of Godzilla vs. Kong. Pretty nice. And, um, um, it's the Battle Axe Kong over here, as you can see. You got the axe here. You got Kong from the Playmates Toys 6-inch figures assortment. So, first of all, let's take a look at the packaging. The packaging seems alright. You got Godzilla vs. Kong. You got Godzilla, Kong. They're about to throw hands. Um, here's that little strap. Here's the name of the toy. Monsterverse. Battle damage revealed. You have a nice little picture. Toho Legendary Playmates Toys 4 Plus. Um, Choking Hazard. War Godzilla vs. Kong. Just tells you the title. Here at the back, here you got Kong over here in the back. You got a little picture. You got a little bio, the movie. Uh, legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, two, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on on the surface and deep within our world, as the spectacular realm, secret realm of the titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. The battle axe, um, Kong. Feel the mighty strength of Kong as he enters the ultimate battle royale against Godzilla with Bone crushing primal strength and a legendary new weapon fit for a king. Here you got more of the figures. I want to get Godzilla the. I want to get Godzilla with Heat Ray, the Skull Crawler, the War Bat, and um the the new Mecha Godzilla that came out. I, I, I want at least one figure of each kaiju that showed up in the movie. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. So, um, first of all, let's take a look at detail. Um, it's this basic kind of grayish-brown all over the figure. The plastic is, is grayish-brown. There are some black, for, there's some black paint for the, for Kong's skin. Um, there's some little scratches there on his chest. Uh, there, there's this black wash on the arms, the shoulders, the legs, which I kind of like that. That's pretty nice. You got white for the teeth, some pink for the for the tongue, some orange for the eyes, and um, I think that's mostly it, really. So that's it for detail. Now let's take a look at articulation. He can move his head from side to side. I kind of wish there was a ball joint there, but I mean, you already got like a ball joint here at the shoulders. Some you got movement over here at the elbow same with the other arm um you got articulation on the legs and on the knees you can get him doing this weird kind of thing there you got you can get him in a, like this weird running pose so um that's it for articulation now let's take a look at his accessories oh lord how do i because I'm I'm going to set you down there, like that. Just just look at that. Beautiful. Um, here's his axe. Here's got. Now it's already been confirmed. This is definitely one of Godzilla's dorsal fins. At least not the Godzilla in the monster verse. At least one of Godzilla's species. Now we don't know where the fuck this bone came from. I guess it's from some other big ass titan. Cause there's no way like this bone, this bone here, this bone, is is the almost the same size as um as um Kong's um Kong, Kong's arm. So like. That's like a that's a pretty big kaiju. Whoever this bone belongs to, there's a little bit detail in the in the sculpt. There's like these straps that hold the dorsal fin together. Um, the paint there's not a lot of paint. There's only like this blue and the 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 whole accessory is basically just this brown color. Um, hold on. So um, let me fix up Kong real quick. Uh, there we go. 
Kong can hold his accessory. He has two arms, one for gripping, and the other is a fisted hand, so he can punch um the, the so he can punch uh, other kaiju. I guess I mean Godzilla and stuff. Um, hold up, let me let me put it on here. There we go. It fits nice and snug. Doesn't fall out. Also, he has um. He also has battle damage, like kind of like the old um, Kenner figures with like the aliens and stuff. Uh, here you got this red patch of flesh. Here's the little patch here. I really like that they did this. This battle damage is very different from like um, the other um, stuff that we had, like with Mattel's Jurassic World. It's more of a slide, like the like the. That battle damage piece is actually um, sculpted into like the, the the figure, but while this one, this isn't the battle damage piece is a separate piece, which I think is pretty nice. And um, yeah, that's basically it for him. So um, what do I give? What rating do I give this figure? Um, actually, I think uh, I think I might keep this box. Actually, this is a pretty nice box. But, um, what do I think about this figure? I give it a... Let's see here. I'm gonna give it a... I'm gonna say a good 9 out of 10. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, a 9 out of 10. Um, it's a pretty nice figure. Pretty nice. Actually, you know what? No, 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 not 9 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. It's a pretty good figure. Uh, 10 out of 10, yes, 10 out of 10. That's what I'm doing. So, um, that's the end of the video. Until we meet again, I really gotta find a, a outro and an intro for the series. Cause, like, everybody has their own outro. And I kinda wanna find mine. Like, Advan's out, he has his, um, wear your seatbelts. I gotta think of something like that. But, um, yeah. uh, until we meet again. Oh, wait, that's, um, that's OmniViewer. Never mind, um, uh, just, um, just have a nice life.